Hello there, everyone. It's me. It's Mrs. Vicky. Here I am, back in the hut after a snowy day yesterday. So it's quite sunny in here today, thank goodness. It's not quite as chilly as it was last week. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all ready for the next character in the story of Peter and the Wolf. But we're going to get ourselves all warmed up. First of all, we're going to get ourselves ready to do some rhythm and pulse work today. So I want you to stand up for me, please. I'm going to move my microphone so I don't knock it over. Here I go. And we did this last week. It's the Hello Echo. The Hello Echo. Okay, so I'm going to say it first and I want you to copy it in whichever voice I use today. Off I go. H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel your heart beat? Excellent. Do you remember a hundred years ago when we were all back at school, we used to use different voices, didn't we? That was my speaking voice. This time I'm going to use my singing voice. See if you can join in after me. Are you ready? Off I go. H-E-L-L-O This is how we say hello Move your feet to the beat Can you feel your heart beat? Smashing! Well done you! Let's do another voice. Are you ready? I bet you'll guess what this is as soon as I do it. Are you ready? Off I go. H -E -L -L this is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel my heart beat? Fab job to everybody. Well done. Okay, so the last one we're going to do, I bet you're all shouting at me now, is our thinking voice. Excellent. We're going to use our thinking voice to say the words, but we're going to clap them with our hands. Do you see? So, are you ready? Off I go. Was that okay? Did you work out what to do? Well done, excellent job, fab. Right, I'm going to move this laptop down again because I'm going to need you to see a few things today. Okay, I hope I've got the right ones. I have. Smashing. Good. So, for this next little bit of activity, if you do happen to have some kind of percussion instrument around the house, a junk type uh, piece of percussion would be fine. You know, you could just have a pencil and a biscuit tin or a plastic cup or, I don't know, a, a little tub of sprinkles or something like that to shake with. Go find it now. If not, you can just use your invisible claves. I'm going to use my rhythm sticks. OK, are you ready? Have you got something to play? Fab. We are going to do our apple tree chant one more time. And this time we're going to see if we can keep a steady pulse all the way through with our percussion instrument. But like I said, if you haven't got one, use your invisible claves. Or another part of your body. That would be absolutely fine. I know some of us year threes have done some body percussion this uh, uh, before Christmas. So you could use your chest. That makes a good sound, doesn't it? Whatever. OK, but I'm going to use my sticks. So we're going to keep a steady pulse all the way through the chant. You know how that goes now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Off we go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples. Apples fell on me, apple pudding, apple pie, 
Did you ever tell a lie? Are you keeping that pulse nice and steady? Ready, steady, one more time. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Good, nice and steady, not too hard, I hope. Okay, now we're going to do the opposite thing. We're going to play the rhythm, the pattern of the word. So same instrument or a different bit of body percussion, as long as you can make the rhythm, the pattern, nice and clear for me. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, uh, ready, steady, off I go. I went up an apple tree, all the apples fell on me. Do you see? Nice and clear. Are you ready? Are you ready? Off we go. I went up an apple tree, all the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie, did you ever tell a lie? One more time. Off we go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Good job. So if you were saying that really quietly, you should have been able to hear the combination of long sounds and short sounds that that pattern, that rhythm was made of. Could you hear where the long sounds were in each sentence? Are you ready? Off we go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Could you hear? They were at the end of every sentence. All those rhyming words were the long sounds. Super. Okay, here's a little challenge for you then. Mm. How about we say it again, but this time I'm going to play the pulse and you are going to play the rhythm. So you're going to do the pattern of the words at the same time as me doing the pulse. Oh my goodness. All you have to do is to say the words with your instrument. Cross fingers. Are you ready? I'm doing the pulse, remember, so I'll be steady and I won't be doing the same thing as you. Are you ready then? Are you ready? Off you go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Should we do it again? Ready, steady, off you go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? How did you find that? Did you manage to do it? Do you think that you were actually playing the words and the patterns of the notes of those longs and shorts? Let's swap over. I'm going to do the rhythm now, the pattern of the words, and you guys are going to do the pulse. So you're going to start me off. You're going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Are you ready? Here I go. You keep going. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Are you still going? One, two, three, four. One last time. Off we go. I went up an apple tree. All the apples fell on me. Apple pudding, apple pie. Did you ever tell a lie? Hopefully you got that in the end. Well done. If you played the pulse while I was doing the rhythm, I find that the, diff the most difficult one to do. So you can put your instruments down now. So if you were really listening very carefully, you would see that there is a pattern that goes all the way through that chant. Some of us have been looking at what short and long sounds might look like if you were going to write them down. And I know some of you 
did your own symbols, not crushing symbols. You made up your own pictures to share to say what was a long sound and what was a short one. Next week, when I see you, I'm going to show you what they would really look like. So you might need to bring yourself a piece of paper and a pen, or if you've got a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker, or even a blackboard and a piece of chalk like the Victorians, that will be fine. But bring something next week for you to write on so that you can have a go at actually writing what notes look like. <gasps> Fab! Okay, I feel it's time for a story now. So, oh, thank goodness my machine is still awake. Last week, we got to the part where Peter had met the bird in the meadow on the other side of the wall, on the other side of the gate from his house, where his grandfather had told him not to go. So the next animal that we're going to come across is another kind of bird. But this kind of bird definitely hasn't got the kind of character that will have twittering and fluttering sounds. I think the character of this bird is rather different. And so the instrument that is playing it is rather different too. So here goes Edna Everidge again. She's going to tell us about the next animal. Right, are we ready? Let's hope it's working and you can hear it. Let's have a bit of a sleep. Oh, there Soon we go. a duck came waddling around. Duck. She was glad that Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. So the duck has gone for a swim in the pond in the meadow. There's the bird. nice and clearly if you couldn't hear it that clearly then you need to go and watch the video it will also show you what the instrument that was playing the ducks music is some of you might not have heard of this instrument before some of you probably won't have seen one before could you hear it it wasn't the same as the flute from last week at all was it it's called an oboe. I've got a picture of one here, but it's not a great shot. Oh, I have to get really close. Can you see? An oboe. So it's another member of the wind family, just like the flute. But this time you don't blow into a hole on the side of it like you do with the flute. It has something called a reed. A double reed, which these days is made out of bamboo. Two pieces of bamboo that are sandwiched together like that and put in the top of the oboe of the instrument, which is made of wood with all the holes for your fingers to go, made out of silver or metal. And the reed, when you blow through it like that, vibrates. That's what makes the sound on an oboe, is the reed moving very, very quickly. So if you've ever had a go at putting a blade of grass between your thumbs like this and blowing through the gap, we used to do that a lot when I was younger. We didn't have fun things like, I don't know, iPods and Xboxes. We used to play with blades of grass. It's doing the same sort of thing. It's making the wood part vibrate and that's what makes the sound. So go have a look to see what an oboe looks like. Do you think that's a good sound for a duck? Yeah, I think it was a really good choice of Prokofiev to use the ducks, uh, the oboe for the duck. 
because it sounds i don't know about you but i, I think a duck always sounds a little bit miserable quack quack and that's kind of what an oboe sounds like sorry oboe players quack. always sounds rather sad or a bit whingy so i'd like you to go and have a little look at what an oboe looks like. I have put lots of links on the things that I sent through to your teachers. Firstly, of the video to see what the whole story looks like. But there are also some links to actual proper musicians playing those instruments too. So if you want to hear the duck again, go find those. I've also put lots of other activities on that list that I've sent your teachers. There are things like some boxes to fill out so you can tell me what the sounds of the instruments are like. Uh, or you could do things like matching up the instruments to the characters that you've heard. That's something else to do uh, when this video has finished. So I thought, why don't we finish this whole th session off by doing a bit of a silly song about birds. Because we've had a normal bird, you know, a bird bird, a garden bird. We've got a duck. Why not have some others as well? This is called the bird tree. Um, and it has got, oh, let me have a look, five different kinds of birds in it. Let me just pause this before we go ahead. And it's got a very simple tune for you to learn. All you have to do is go up in steps. I'm going to sing the first verse for me and you're going to copy. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. I'll do that again for you. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. Can you hear it going up my steps? You'll go. Off you go. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. OK, now the next bit goes like this and it's falling down this time. What did he sound like? Talk with me. Can you do that for me? What did he sound like? Talk with me. Okay, let's from the beginning. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. What did he sound like? Talk with me. So we're going to have a different bird in each verse and at the end of each verse you're going to make the sound of each uh, bird so you can guess what this is going to be like. It's the pirate parrot. It goes like this. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Tee -hee 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 -hee. Can you hear that's a mix of the falling down notes that we had and the steps going backwards. Can you do it with me? Three pretty pollies and then tee hee hee. Off we go. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Tee hee 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 hee. Got it? Good. From the beginning, I saw a little parrot. Are you ready? Off we go. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. What did he sound like? Talk with me. Pretty Polly. Pretty Polly. Pretty Polly. Pretty Polly. Tee hee 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 hee. It's just a bit of fun. Why not do a silly song about some birds? Great. So we've got parrots. Now the next one that we're going to do is a hummingbird and that's flying round a tree. So when we get to the last part, we're going to hum that instead of pre Pretty Polly. So shall we try that from the beginning? I saw a little hummingbird flying round a tree. Are you ready? Off we go. I saw a little hummingbird flying round a tree. What did he sound like? Hum with me. So you should kind of have the tune now and know how it goes. The next one is I saw a little duck. Yay! Flapping by a tree. What did he sound like? We all know what a duck does. Quack with me. OK, so then we do the same tune. Whack, 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 whack. 
Yes? First of all is an owl. So I saw a little owl sitting in a tree. What did he sound like? And he's going to sing. Sing with me. To it, to it, to it, to it. Yeah? And then when we do the down steps, it'll go. Yeah? The trick one is the last bird. The last bird is an emu. Does anybody know anything interesting about emus? Have you even heard of an emu? An emu is one of those strange creatures, a flightless bird. It doesn't fly, it's got tiny wings, but the other thing about an emu is it doesn't really have a call, it doesn't have a song. So we'll use our thinking voice. So in the very last bit, because he's pecking at a tree, we'll get our hands to peck the tune instead. So it'll go, Do you get the idea? Great, I'm gonna go from the beginning. Okay, so parrot, hummingbird, duck, yes? Owl, and then the emu who doesn't do anything. He just pecks. All right, so hope you enjoy having a lovely song because we don't sing very often these days, do we? Hope it's not too loud. Cross fingers, you're sitting up nice and straight. What a lovely sound. There goes the parrot. I saw a little parrot dancing by a tree. What did he sound like? Talk with me. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Tee -hee -hee -hee. So now it's the hummingbird flying round the tree. I saw a little hummingbird flying round the tree. Did you sound like come with me? Here's our friend the duck and he's quacking and flapping. I saw a little duck flapping on the tree. What did you sound like? notice that at the end of that song you were pecking the rhythm of the words you were pecking the pattern of the longs and shorts in that song so well done if you want to do any of that again just rewind if you want to listen to the duck again just rewind uh, if you want to make yourself some instruments for next week possibly that would be fab but don't forget to bring a bit of paper or something to write on so that you can have a go at writing some real musical notes also have a look at some of those activities that i've sent your teachers but make sure you have a lovely week you look after yourselves, you stay safe and enjoy some sunshine. Take care now. Bye.